Hi guys, it's Clan here and in this video I'm going to show you how to enable Hyper-V in Windows 11. Maybe you encounter problem the same with this or a different problem that requires to enable your virtualization. This video is what you need. So I'm gonna show you again the error why I can't run this Windows subsystem for Android. As it says, make it sure that uh, my virtualization is enabled. So it means that we need to enable it in our BIOS. But first, we will go to system information to check if our virtualization is really disabled. So what we're going to do is we will go to settings or in search menu and search system information here we can see lots of information about our system we can see here some BIOS version BIOS mode and etc so to check our virtualization just go to lower part and as you can see here the Hyper-V virtualization enabled in firmware is no. It is means that our Hyper-V is disabled in our BIOS. That's why we need to go now in our BIOS. We will restart now the computer. For you to go to BIOS, you need to press delete F2 or etc depends on your BIOS since I'm using ASOS BIOS or motherboard my configuration is delete or F2 to go to BIOS so I'm going to press now the delete and F2 so I'm already here in the BIOS what we're going to do we will go to advanced mode once you are in the advanced mode Go to advanced and go to CPU configuration. In CPU configuration, you will see here the SBA mode. As you can see, it is disabled. In Intel, it's different but almost the same. You need to go to advanced mode and advanced and CPU configuration and hyper virtualization. You should enable it. So once you enable it, you can now go to exit then save changes and reset make sure you save it and this will pop up sb mode is changed so click ok now our computer is restarting now we will go to the system information to check if our hyper b is already enabled so as you can see here virtualization configuration are changed and the information here are different it means that our hyper b is enabled so that's how you enabled the hyper b in your computer now i will try it in windows subsystem for android if it will work my configuration so as you can see here it's now Windows Defender Firewall but will be able to install now allow access so this Windows subsystem for Android is now running and we can set it up in our computer I'm actually enabling my computer to run Android application together with my Windows 11 OS So if you are interested to do this the same you can try or watch my video I will be sharing it in the link So that's all for today, and I hope that you learned something in this video If you're new in this channel, please don't forget to subscribe my channel and click the notification bell below See you in my next video Goodbye and God bless